It's me, Zay, for Beeble Brock's the British Tech Guru. I took the plastic baffle off the little drill press thingy um, just to see what I could, if I could possibly, because I hate throwing things away, if I could possibly resurrect this somehow. Now, this tightening screw tightens this this bar quite nicely. Um, so there's there's virtually no slop here between this this bar and here. There's a little bit of slop at the top here, but the big problem is not here. The big problem is here, but there's uh, there's plenty slop there. I can probably see it, and you can definitely hear it, and it doesn't matter. How uh, it 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 and if it won't if it'll slop like that, and even when it's down pushed all the way down, it still slops. So it's it's a very interesting little design, and I've seen variants of this on AliExpress and Timu and eBay and even Amazon and Walmart. And the problem is, if they've got this circular cylindrical, uh, cylindrical column, then the weak point is going to be here. There seems to be no way to tighten this. Now, if there was a tightening screw here, that would make a world of difference. But there isn't. And I'm not sure that this is actually steel anyway. And I rather suspect, let me just try it with a magnet. Oh, it is steel. Okay. So if that is steel, then there might be a way to resurrect this. If I put some kind of tightening screw on it somehow uh, I'd probably have to put two I'd have to put them at the top and the bottom but bear in mind this is painfully thin aluminium somehow I just don't think it's going to work